Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. Thank you, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for being here with me today uh, and checking into your tarot reading. I do appreciate you tuning in. This is going to be for all the Gemis watching and we're going to be looking at where your current situation is at, um, what's going on and what you can expect um, for things to unfold. So whatever you've got going on in your mind, uh, in your life, whatever sort of um, playing out, we're going to look and see what's coming up, what we can learn about this situation. So um, this can also be to the cross watchers. So if you're dealing with a Gemini romantically, this is going to help you um, see what's going on on their side and what they're thinking and feeling type thing. Before I begin, I just wanted to say, don't forget to drop a like on this video if you enjoy it. Um, also, anyone out there that would um, like a private reading, please feel free to reach out to me directly and we can try and arrange that. Uh, for you. Uh, also, I've had a mind blank. One of my other announcements. Oh, yes. Um, feel free to sign up for membership uh, on the channel and you'll get access to bonus readings and extended readings. Um, otherwise, <clears throat> let's see what's coming up around the situation here for Gemini. Um, where is the situation at uh, right now? So whatever this is that you're sort of mulling over and keep thinking about or currently going through um hopefully this is going to be insightful okay the overall energy okay overall energy is coming up as the ten of wands okay you're going through some heavy stuff here gems um can be around a fire sign or it's like physically you feel like physically you're going through a lot through this situation now and you're carrying a lot on your shoulders Things are um, things are much more intense here for you. Okay, um, so overall card, this is what makes me feel like you're doing it tough a little bit now. You're going through some things. You might not be you might not be feeling like yourself right now, because there's this thing you feel like there's a lot of pressure on you, like to make things right, or a lot of a lot of weight that's on your shoulders to make a situation better. So right now, the situation could be in its um, late stages, like almost wrapping up or in its beginning stages because it's the number 10, which does become one. So I do feel like somehow you're still in the beginning stage of something here. So it's still fairly new. It's fairly recent. You're still sort of trying to manage it yourself and see, you know, what's going on. Sort of dealing with this a lot. Um, it is around a big love. Okay, I can see that King of Pentacles is here. Could be around a Taurus. Uh, a couple fire cards here. So Aries, Sag, Leo could be coming up. Um, but... Okay, so the overall situation is the Ten of Wands. So this is probably the worst of it, I would say. And the reason it's feeling fresh, um, chances are it probably is, um, and you're still finding your feet. So you've got to be patient with the situation and you'll have to be patient with yourself and how, how this sort of uh, plays out here for you. Uh, okay. Um, looking at the cards down here, what I'm getting is that you, this this situation has really shown you where you stand with a person, uh, how much they value or don't value you, and it's confronting. I'm definitely getting a heartbroken kind of energy as, uh, to come up as the Three of Swords. Um, some of you Geminis might be out there with a broken heart, especially if there's someone else or you found out there is someone else in the picture. You know, that's not, that's not always to hear. Um, and there's a sense of like, the Seven of Cups is like you being in the cold, right? Like you, you're, you're in the cold here, actually. My bad. Um, you're in the cold here, but this is the Seven of Cups is like you being shut out. And you have like, you're completely in the dark and you don't know what's going on with your person or how they're feeling. And you're sort of just left to think about all these crazy scenarios. Like, what are they doing? Who are they with? Are they with their ex? Are they with this other person? Are they happy? Do they treat them better than I did? Like... Seven of Cups is like, you have a lot of crazy ideas. Now, it's just in us gems, like, right? We can play out all these scenarios in our heads. 
Um, we're, we're an anxious bunch, you know, there's no denying that. Um, and we can be very imaginative. And sometimes that imagination really, really sucks because when it comes to times like this, when you're in this sort of situation, you think of all these scenarios. Um, and, you know, it, and then you make yourself upset. And it's like you're fearing something that you don't even know exists or you're fearing something that you might be making up in your mind. Um, is it healthy? No, you're actually creating more, more stress on yourself right now. Um, and I feel, I feel like you're not really showing what's going on to your person or sort of anyone around you. I definitely feel it's sort of more in the subconscious, like in the privacy of your own mind. When you go to bed at night, you think about these things or you think about this person, but to the exterior, no one would ever guess you're that affected as you are. And you don't sort of want to let it on to anyone else that you are affected. So you play this six of ones kind of energy like, yeah, I'm all right. I'm good. I'm, I'm coping well. I'm doing X, Y, and Z. Um, and you're trying to portray this, this external king of pentacles. Like you, you, you've got it all together. Um, but really, there's a lot of thoughts and a lot of emotions you're feeling. Um, you do have five, six, and seven. So I feel like... Things will, things will unfold when they're meant to. And I feel like you just have to go through all of these emotions and feel them and see where it takes you. Uh, because I think for a lot of you, pride is coming up. And I feel with the five of pentacles and the six of wands, someone's hurt your pride. They've done something that you weren't expecting them to do. And they've gone out they've done it gems and it's like in your mind it's like okay well it's a little too late the deed has been done there's no going back from this you're hurting yes you, clearly you are i mean you're only human and obviously this mattered a lot to you uh but deep down i feel like in your eyes they did the worst of the worst to you and you do feel betrayed there's a betrayal here whether or not it was intentional mm, I think it was. I don't think people do things unintentionally. I think there's always intention behind it. So it might have been what someone did. And, you know, you're carrying it now. You're carrying all that pain and all that emotion. And it's not easy. And then on top of that, you need to pretend like you're okay. You need to go into work and be like, yeah, you know, how are you going? How is everyone? But really, you know, you go and sit down at your desk and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that happened. And then you just get these flashbacks. And... It's, it's trauma, right? It's, it's a trauma response. And I think this, all of this, like it's exhausting because you have to pretend you're okay, but really you've got like these seven different thoughts at the one time, these seven different narratives. And one of them's like, oh, you know, everything's gonna be okay. I'm strong, I can get through this. And then the other one is like, how could they do this to me? And then the other thought is like, I still love them. I still care. Like it's so many thoughts and feelings but majorly, uh, you've been you you feel like a little bit lost, uh, and it's okay to feel lost sometimes. But all of this, like pretending, is probably not helping. Uh, it's probably like adding to because then, like mentally, you have to be like, oh, okay, I need to I need to look good. I need to prepare myself. I need to do X, Y, and Z so people don't know that I'm hurting. Um, and it could even be like you might have met someone new, and then they're sort of asking about your past or your history. And, you know, some of you may sort of open up uh, that Ten of Wands or you may feel like you can open up that whether you'll actually do so or not is sort of a different story. Whether or not you'll actually want to let them in and know what's going on in your situation, uh, because I feel like you don't want to let this person know even how much they've hurt you. Like it could be a massive, massive cover up, um, and gems we're good at this because we're we are that dual energy. We're ruled by the twins, so we can get the playful, silly, light-hearted twin that comes out, right? And then there's that other twin that's more mm, okay, more more spiteful, more angry, um, more dramatic. You know, it's just it's in our nature, and I feel like it's a bit of a, it's it's a bit of a constant battle because you sort of have to manage which twin is going to come out in which scenario and you're like trying real hard to suppress the maybe the the, the, the naughty twin like a more evil twin you're sort of like okay get back in there don't say anything don't react this way like it's almost like you have to monitor yourself um 
and it's just funny because it's just such a typical gem thing to do right and this this feeling that comes out it's this monitoring i think that's the hardest because you're stubborn you're in that stubborn energy with the king of pentacles so you've dug your heels in uh, and whatever it is that you're doing you're trying to just you're trying to just push forward and you know you have to appreciate yourself for what you're doing here because you're making it happen uh, you have to look back and see how far you've come uh, or how you're handling the situation or how you could handle it maybe in a different way so or in a better way like there's always ways around it uh, and I feel like you're just trying to find your find yourself and, and find your center and I think that's probably the best thing to do right now I mean you can't help it you're gonna go through this dual energy um, you've been hurt so it's normal don't be spiteful okay it's very easy for us to be spiteful and go into that energy but then it just becomes a vicious cycle of hurting each other uh, and then eventually you come to a stage where you're like okay you know i give up i'm not going to be vengeful anymore i'm not going to be spiteful if they want to do their own thing if that's what makes them happy i'm going to let them be because you know you can't as, as much as we want to control the situations um sometimes we need to tell sometimes we need to tell that other twin to sit down you know, sit back down and try to manage it from a, from a more logical point of view, a more, you know, rather than emotional. So eventually, yeah, you'll get to that stage, I think, and then you'll be more, more like, okay, well, I can't control this. I can't control them. I can't control what they're doing. I can control me. I can control how I react to it. And it's empowering in a sense. Uh, but I think that'll come in time. I think that's a lesson you may be currently learning. Um, I know it's a lesson I've recently encountered myself. So the more you're sort of able to accept things as they are. Um, and, you know, as as long as you, you know, you're, you're doing what you want and you're following your heart, your dreams, you know, unfortunately, we can't make other people do anything as much as we want to. Um, we can't make them do anything. And I feel like with the king of pentacles here i think there is a lesson learned uh, there is a lesson tied into this this pain that you're feeling now and you will come out of it uh, better and stronger i'm gonna leave it at that though gem so beautiful reading i hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like um please subscribe to the channel as well and also feel free to sign up and become a channel member you will get access to bonus readings and extended reads otherwise i'm sure i'll catch you very soon so lots of love gems stay strong and bye for now